Hello everyone, today will be a very useful video for those who want to get rid of real tracking on their smartphones. I think it's no secret to anyone that our smartphones, initially, even at the time of purchase, are packed with various functions, various settings that are enabled by default, and mainly benefit only the developers. That is, they receive maximum information about how you use your smartphone, that is, which application you are in, what you type there, or you send something. The list is actually very, very huge, and it even affects your location, even down to where you go, what paths you walk, and so on. Now I will show you where the main setting is that you should do when you first buy a smartphone to feel safer, so that your privacy is not violated, and so that no one receives your personal data, and generally any data that may end up in the wrong hands. And in general, I think no one likes that something is sent from your smartphone and someone is watching how you use it. Be sure to watch the video to the end. Support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. So initially, we need to use our standard settings. Next, we scroll and find an item called simply Privacy. There is also Privacy Protection, this button, but this is a little different. Go to Privacy, and here, scrolling down a bit, we find Activity Tracking. Click on this line. Next, you will see here a specific list of accounts. That is, if you have created any account for yourself, that is, this is your elementary email to send letters or use the Google Play Market or any other services, then specifically here you will see this list. If you want to protect yourself as much as possible, then, of course, you will have to do this for each of the accounts. Well, if you only have one account, then in principle you have less work. Select the account for which we want to do this. Next, it loads a little, we wait a bit, and here we get to a specific list. I will say right away that some settings I already had done initially so you only have to review your settings and decide for yourself whether you want to disable it or not. So we look. By the way, we are immediately warned that we independently choose what data to save and what not to save. Here is the first one. App and Web Search History. This saves data about your activity on Google Sites and Apps and related information. In particular, location. This is the first tricky setting that really determines your location and monitors what you do on specific sites. That is, it can be your browser through which you search for information, and after you enter a query, literally in a few minutes you will see an advertisement that this product is located not far from you. That is, you will often see advertisements specifically for what you are interested in. In addition, data about the personalization of Google services, such as Maps and Search, is also used. That is, again, other applications that are responsible for your location are involved. In general, I personally disable this. That is, you will have a Disable button here. Click and just Disable. In the additional settings, you may have some check marks. Of course, if you want to completely disable, then also uncheck them, because your voice control history may be saved here. Save your visual search history, or save your Google Chrome history. Regarding automatic deletion, but if this function is disabled, then in principle there will be no access here. But you can click here and, in principle, delete or set a specific deletion for three months, six months, or more. Next, timeline. 
This directly concerns your specific location. That is, it helps you remember where you have been. When it is enabled, your routes and visited places are automatically marked. That is, this concerns specifically maps. Mostly people use Google Maps to find information about where something is located or to get directions. And these Google Maps are used in hidden mode to save where you go. If you do not want this saving to occur, then of course, again, disable the additional settings. Use timeline data to help companies evaluate advertising effectiveness. In principle, if you selectively disable, then uncheck this box. If completely, then it doesn't matter, and everything will be disabled. Again, a little lower, we see that there is automatic deletion here. It is not active because the function is already completely disabled. Next, YouTube history. This function saves information about what you watch and search for on YouTube. As a result, you get more accurate recommendations. Well, for example, if you are looking for a review of a specific smartphone, then after visiting several reviews, you will start to be recommended specific other channels that also did a review of this smartphone. Well, and it works exactly the same for absolutely everything in the search. If you are very often looking for information personally for yourself, then, of course, this setting, on the contrary, is very good in terms of what you will be recommended specifically what you are looking for. But in terms of the fact that all this is saved and sent somewhere for analysis, in order to then give you this information, then this, of course, is not very good. If such suggestions are not very important to you, then in principle you can safely disable this history. In the additional settings, save information about the videos you watch on YouTube. Save search queries that you enter on YouTube. By the way, there were comments like how to disable or delete search queries. That is, when you go to YouTube itself, click on the search, there is a huge list that pops up. Everything that you have already entered and asked a question in the comments, how to remove it. Well, so that no one sees, for example, someone took the phone in their hands, clicked on search, and the whole history of what you have ever searched for popped up. Well, in general, we just remove this checkbox, save search queries, and they will simply disappear. And each time you will need to enter a completely new query, and it will not be saved. By the way, for those who want to clean their smartphone well, these actions with this setting enabled are saved for three years. And these actions can be deleted. Next, we scroll down and find Add Personalization, Add Management Center. This is actually a very sore subject for many. No one likes when an ad pops up. Well, yes, this setting does not eliminate ads, but there are significantly fewer of them. I personally disable it in the Management Center. And there is also such a setting, Ad Settings on Partner Sites. We go here, and here you can turn off this slider. Show personalized ads on partner sites and apps. It is disabled for me because the previous slider was disabled, and this only applies to advertising in this browser or on this device. Well, in principle, this is what we need. That is, you search for information through...